Hey everyone, we are going to be talking here about how the sun triggers earthquakes. For veteran observers, this is not something that is brand new to you. For those who are just new to the channel, uh, I want to mention that if you go and you take a look at the link below to our earthquake knowledge playlist, there are a ton of videos on there, not just about predicting earthquakes via pre-earthquake electromagnetism signals in the magnetic field in the atmosphere, but the solar influence on those things as well. Uh, there are some long form presentations and some short summary videos. Essentially, we have been seeing the last couple of weeks uh, very successful ability to predict the global upticks in seismicity based on what the sun is doing. And just this morning, we got another paper that really helps drive down into some of those details about how the telluric currents, which are the electric currents that run through the ground, uh, are really enhanced by space weather activity. This is actually not uh, anything that is, hasn't been in mainstream science already, but it truly is um, not something we see very commonly in terms of them actually applying what they know about space weather, geomagnetically induced currents, solar flare induced currents, uh, sometimes called a magnetic crochet, uh, and how that relates to seismicity. We see even less about how it relates to the weather, but that's because of a preposterous political paradigm that we will leave for another day. Essentially, what we know is that the fault lines, they are the most conductive places overall on a large scale in the crust. So when we have these electric currents that are surged through the earth due to space weather activity, that's where they're going to focus. And the kinds of rocks that are there plus the conductivity means there are piezoelectric effects. There are thermoelectric effects as well. Uh, so in terms of charging, discharging, capacitance, uh, in terms of resistivity, in terms of current flowing through and creating heat. Um, not to mention, not just of the rocks and not just of the iron and other conductive metals, but of the water as well. Uh, water will move towards electric current. Uh, it is pretty phenomenal. This is not only mainstream science, but we've shown it to you in, in the lab several times. It's down in there in the playlist. Uh, essentially, this is one of the reasons one of the many reasons why when the sun has an uptick, it is so easy to be able to say, okay, it actually looks like we've been slightly below average in earthquakes here the last couple of days or couple of weeks. Now we can suggest that that's going to end. Anyway, so that paper we saw this morning, fantastic baby step forward in the science. If this is brand new to you, please go ahead and watch some of the videos in that playlist. You are really going to be... Uh, in my opinion, shocked at how much information actually exists in terms of how predictable earthquakes are, how successfully it's been done in the past, and just how much the sun has to do with earthquake prediction. Uh, for those who are veteran observers and know this topic a bit more, sort of a nice little sit back and nod, finally they're they're getting it a little bit more and more every day. So uh, since this morning, since uh, and yesterday we actually uh, were going over some more higher level activity on the sun and we've been having a, an uptick in seismicity I think we can safely say that's going to continue but again excellent uh, article today on telluric currents if you're not familiar with this go watch some of the videos in that playlist they are absolutely phenomenal they are some veteran observers favorite uh, videos that we've ever done um, it's good stuff good stuff. And the other thing is, as Earth's magnetic field continues to weaken in the ongoing magnetic pole shift, Earth is more and more vulnerable to these things. So it's going to become a bigger and bigger story as time moves on. Anyway, I will see you in the morning for the Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.